X39 has really changed my life. I'm not stuck at home in pain and bed. I'm out here with my friends and enjoy my family. Big thank you to Lifeway for helping me, helping my family, and helping the 100 people now in our team who are using Lifeway daily and their families. Big, big thank you. Love the products. And I have energy through the roof. I sleep better. I have so much more energy. Throughout the day, I can focus better. I can concentrate in my work. Our church worship service lasts 45 minutes. For the last two years, I've not been able to stand that long. Two and a half weeks into wearing the X39 patch, the pastor said, you can now be seated. It dawned on me at that moment that my goodness, I've been standing this whole time, didn't realize it. After starting using the technology for approximately two weeks, my pain completely disappeared. 32 years of pain gone in three days. I just love the products. Um, they just help me to feel younger and younger year after year. Thank God for X39. My skin become younger, softer, firmer. It's been really, really, really amazing. I love X39 because it really helped reduce the inflammation in my knee. I can now run again. Woohoo! Hey, well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday evening testimonial calls. Gregory Muscari up here in Bozeman, Montana. I'm going to be your host this evening for the first part of the call. And then I'm going to introduce our good friend, Dr. Thomas Acklin, who's going to be doing a little Q&A on the second half of our call. This is kind of a new format, and some of you are familiar with it. Some of you are not. So the first part of the call is testimonials. And we, you know, the key to the testimonials, we want you to be brief, be compliant and be done. Uh, brief, you know, 30 to 60 seconds, be compliant. We talk symptom, symptoms only. Uh, we don't name diseases because our products are not designed to heal, treat, or cure any disease, but they do help bring our body back into a level of wellness that you may not have had experienced in years or maybe decades. Uh, and, and so that's how we're going to conduct this. And if you've got a testimonial you'd like to share, what I'd like to do is invite you to raise your hand and I'll be calling on you and bringing forth uh, some of our, uh, our our attendees. And it may be a testimony you've already shared, uh, but we have new people on every week. So that's okay if you want to share it again. Uh, we want people to understand the diverse benefits that primarily X39, along with some of the other products, uh, what kind of results people are having. So I'd like a few of our brave leaders to raise your hand so I can start calling on people and uh, let the testimonials begin. Who would like to start? Hey, there we go. Arlene and Mario. Okay, go ahead and unmute yourself. All right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, my testimony is that about two months ago, I was uh, actually a few more months than that, um, told I should give the patches a try, especially X39. And I had been suffering from pain down my leg that two ozone injections and surgery um, helped, but I still was suffering. And um, I still had a look at and my hip was bothering me. It was very odd. Um, I'm a muscle practitioner of uh, myofascial type pain and dysfunction. And you know, within um, touch, I was the I was able to run up the stairs to give my brother a patch because um, I was very excited about how he felt. <laughs> and I also had a mood lift. I was very happy. I was very excited. It was very strange. I was very welcomed. And um, an energy level, um, I feel like my hair is looking thicker, my beard within 24 hours, within the next several weeks, I felt like little patches were starting to grow in. And I've heard a lot of testimonials about, you know, wrinkles in hair. So I've taken a lot of pictures over to um, Martha. Cool. Uh, thanks very much, Mario. And delighted to, to have you with us here tonight. Thanks for sharing. Uh, let's go over to Adele Good. Adele, go ahead, please. 
Hi, Gregory. Thank you for Hello. having me and hosting this. I'm just going to share that on June 7th, I came back to Dallas and I actually went to see the eye doctor because I thought I had an eye infection in my right eye. Turns out at 67, I had an advanced stage of cataract, oh, of okay. blurriness in my right eye. And yes. I knew I'd heard on the, one of the Monday morning miracle calls a few days before, or a few weeks before, that someone had used some patches to help with that situation. So I did a little checking and I actually talked to your lovely wife who helped me remember that it was carnosine. And I, I've been wearing that since about June 15th in an eye mask that I got from American Airlines. And I just wear it inside the mask. And I am shocked within 10 days, I was up to about 80%. The blurriness was gone, the cloudiness. And now I've been out of town. I just returned, but it was $300 to see that eye doctor. And I don't really want to go back and give her $300 more because she told me I needed surgery and that that was the only solution for getting rid of what created a 2070 uh, vision in my right eye. That was with correction. And I know it's way better than that right now. So not sure. Um, I don't plan to see the eye doctor again, but I know that I've got a much more improved eye from just carnosine worn inside the patch. I actually are inside the eye mask during the night. So huge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Adele. Thank you, Gregory. Yay. And you know what? We've got 90 people on the line and we don't have any hands raised. So uh, we'd love to hear some stories from a few folks. So raise your hand, please. Hey, there's Ravel. Go ahead, Ravel. Good morning. Good evening. Hi, Gregory. Hi, everyone. It's great to see you. A couple of things. I just, just wanted to mention that last, it was June 28th, I walked up or hiked up a pretty steep hill and uh, I was pretty well at the front all the way, although it was very, very rugged. And I noticed looking behind me that there were children and young adults that were huffing and puffing away. So I felt pretty good for a 59 year old. And just one last point, um, my mother and father made similar decisions, you know, same lifestyle. And um, my father is not using X39 and He's sadly in the hospital right now, but um, my mother is using X39 every day and she's not, and fit as a fiddle. So we can't say that X39 will keep you out of the hospital, but- Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean that. No, I mean, you can say it. I'm saying that kind of in jest. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so wonderful to hear that. Uh, thank you, Ravel. You know, uh, we, uh, your, your results may vary. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, thanks very much. Christina, go ahead, please. Christina, you got your hands up. You're unmuted. You could go ahead and, and share if you'd like. Not hearing you. Um, Christina, so we can't hear you. So... Um, Keep trying and let's just move over to Kate. Kate, do you want to share? Oh, I sure do. Good evening, everybody. These Good are some two, two little or three little things that have occurred from X39 that I am grateful for. Mm -hmm. As I got older, my hair dried out, started falling out, started turning white and got very dry. And other things like not needing to wear deodorant anymore told me that things were not right with my body. So my hair is turning brown again. The oil has returned to the scalp, which is making the scalp and the hair more healthy. And I now have to wear underarm deodorant. It tells me that my body's working better. Hmm. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Weird and wonderful things. <laughs> uh, Christina, you want to try? See if you're unmuted. See if that works. Uh, I guess not. So we'll go over to Kira. Good evening. Hey, there you are. Yes. Um, I have a personal experience with some brain fog that is probably a direct result of a huge amount of insect venom that was in my, got into my body while I was in isolation in 
cabin in it in a remote part of Italy uh, mm -hmm. with uh, the pandemic virus. And as soon as uh, I got, I had, I stopped counting the bites at around 175 bites. So, uh, bed bugs, fleas, ants, spiders, mosquitoes, biting flies, and an unknown crawling insect that looked like a shield. So that's all this is. I'm and I'm in I'm in quarantine. Um, I got out of there and I realized when I was driving that I couldn't read the the highway sign mm -hmm. on the highway until I was at the exit, and I thought, okay, going back to the United States, get to my ophthalmologist. And she confirms that uh, the prescription in one eye, the one I had double vision in, uh, did not affect the other eye, just one eye. Changed my prescription and I went on with my life. And I, I while I was in Italy, I had my patches with me. So I had some, and, and a few other things. A year later is right now. And I no longer have double vision. I, well, the double vision stopped very quickly. Mm -hmm. And my brain fog is is less and less and less all the time. And I am using X39 and carnosine and uh, uh, ah, one other. I can't remember right now. Part of the brain fog. <laughs> and I am grateful to the patches. Oh, we are too. We're grateful for you. What a wonderful story. I'm so, golly, what a miserable time that must have been with all those bugs. <laughs> it was a beautiful, beautiful location to be isolated in, but the cabin just was not, it wasn't tight. And there were I, bugs were coming in. Uh, I would kill them at night and they'd be there again in the morning. And I would have bites all over me again oh, every gosh, morning. So it was it was an experience for sure, but, but I was grateful for the for the resources I brought with me. Great. Well, oh, you're looking great. Okay, Christina, we got another Christina. Go ahead, please. Uh, this is me. I just got off the computer. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Okay, well, I wanted to tell you guys about my husband. Um, can I say that he had a detached retinal surgery? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So in his left eye, and then he ended up having a close-up lens put in that eye as well. Mm -hmm. But he was left with just pretty much a um, lot of black splotches everywhere in the eyes and he had 2070 vision and was not able to really use that eye much and um, he started using patches and I asked him about a month later how they were doing he said mm, I don't know then all of a sudden he said I can read the screen because we had the words on it and he closed this eye and took his phone and he could read out of that eye. <laughs> That's so fabulous. Oh my gosh. He, he doesn't <laughs> wear his glasses. He doesn't wear his glasses at all. He's wore glasses since he's in second grade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a scientific miracle. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's Thank thanks, you. thanks so much for sharing. Thanks very much. And Linda. Linda Miller, go ahead. Hi, hi, Greg. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, I have a friend that came over, called me on Sunday morning early. She was quite distressed. She had a, a problem with her hand. She had a nasty looking lesion uh, that had multiple areas that were looked really red and swollen. And uh, she came over and said, "What? I, I need help." And she was really worried. She'd had it for six months. Had self treated with some um, complimentary uh, like colloidal silver and something else. Anyway, um, I got out my chlorine dioxide, which I love. And um, I also put some patches on, Eon and Glutathione and X39. And what I did was I cut out a, a, a rubber glove, a, a, a round circle, and I got a two by two uh, cotton, you know, a, a mesh gauze piece. And I, so I, I put the chlorine dioxide on, I put the, um, the rubber, round rubber piece that I took out of the glove, put that on and then put the patches on top of that so that the patches were directly on top. Well, cut to the short of it. Uh, today, she, she's, I took a picture of it initially and I'll put it on Vibrant Living. Um, but today her hand is so much better. It looks incredible. And she was a naysayer and 
don't think she's a naysayer anymore. <laughs> so she's very happy and uh, relieved because for six months she had been trying to get this thing to behave and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And in three mm. days we've, we've, it, it looks almost normal again. That is so wonderful. There we go. Yeah. Some yeah. More scientific miracles. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing. So I think we're ready to transition over. And, uh, you know, this is uh, the fun, another fun part of the call. And at this point, if you have any questions, uh, you can type them in the chat. And I forgot to mention, if you already typed them, I'm going to ask you to retype them so uh, we don't have to sip through the chat. Well, there's not that much in the chat, so that's okay. Uh, if you have questions uh, for Dr. Tom, you can go ahead and put them in the chat. And I'm going to go ahead and spotlight you, our good Dr. Tom, along with myself. And I want to thank you for joining us here. And uh, this is the fun part of the call where we get to query the doctor and, and maybe get some insights into better use of, uh, of our patching technology. So thanks for doc joining us, Dr. Tom. Well, thanks for letting me be here. The fun part for me is to hear all the great stories and uh, people getting people get their eyes popped open and brand new life. That's the good stuff. It's so true. It's so wonderful. And being a you know medical doctor, health practitioner for you know most of your life, right? Uh, you know, why don't you just share just briefly why you're so excited about this technology? You know, why you as a, a professional health pra care practitioner, a medical doctor, have you know put your focus on LifeWave and uh, you know added that to um, you know the tools you use to to help people that are having some health challenges. Where to start and when to stop. Uh, you know, I can go <laughs> on to half an stop. hour, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'll just share a story since Mario uh, was talking about his hair uh, and he, and since he's a myofascial, I'd actually like to meet you, Mario, and know your story. Um, folks are looking for different ways to stretch. Um, I, I tell people all the time, God tricked me into buying a yoga studio about 15 years ago. Uh, as I was transitioning away from Georgetown University and uh, medical center and practice. And um, I started to learn the power of stretch. Mm -hmm. And I knew that as an athlete in bi biomechanical stress uh, and fashion, connective tissue and collagen and all of our quote physical tissues. And I think most docs still walk around. In fact, most of us walk around uh, thinking that the physical is the thing uh, that needs manipulation. And more and more over the years, I trained to be a yoga teacher and I, I started learning energy medicine. And then that was when I was learning to talk to people about how to not get into the hospital. We heard about the stories about the hospital. Yeah. We want to stay away from the hospital. Um, we don't need a sick care system. We need uh, pre preventative care. And then you know, so many beautiful practitioners all over the world. And, and I like to always say, you don't need letters behind your name. Uh, uh, we're all carrying the message. Each of us is a practitioner, right? Mm -hmm. and people are hungry for these messages. And I, I started paying attention to how people heal uh, in most practices in most places in the world. And that, that was fascinating to me. I was still stuck in the nuts and bolts. I do a lot of food as medicine. I do a lot of talk to people about microbiome rebuild, how to put the the belly bugs back together, what supplements to take, what foods to eat. Um, maybe five years in, I started to really lower the hammer on what things not to eat, right? Lots of toxins. We have lots of fake food. We have lots of plasticized food. And now here, especially we're, we're in the, we're in the, uh, um, we're under the microscope in the past couple of years and all of the toxins that we've allowed to come into our food supply and our air and our water supply and our soil uh, and our emotional toxins, let's not forget those. Um, those have come to a head here in the past couple of years. And what do you know? Uh, Anne Morrow in perfect timing, she's such a good friend for so many years. I knew her and uh, <clears throat> would do would do anything for her. And uh, she asked me to take a look at this company uh, about three years ago, and I was amazed that I'd not ever heard of it because I love stem cells. Uh, and I had learned about stem cell transplants, and I had learned um, 
how to put the body back into a place where regenerative capacity is um, is wow through the roof, right? And lots of different ways to do that. And when I saw what David Schmidt was doing, and I saw what this company had been doing for twenty years, helping people escape those toxicities, right? Mm. And I like to say to folks, um, <clears throat> because we practice lifestyle medicine here too, and uh, putting these patches on, putting these technologies on the body and putting the body into a regenerative sphere, if you will, an, an energetic readiness, an energetic competence doesn't take off the table the need to, to make those changes and to continue to improve your diet and to continue to improve your habits, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it lends an immediate competence. And I don't think it's an accident that it was, you know, it came along right as the, as the globe was trying to squeeze and say, uh, stay alone, stay connected, get further, further disconnected. So to bring it all back to the stretch metaphor, stretching happens at every level of the tissue of our, of our lives and not just of this thing called Tom's body, right? It happens at the cellular level when cell talks to cell. Uh, there is there's cytokine conversation. It happens when Tom talks to Gregory, right? There's conversation. We're we're a couple five two thousand miles apart, but uh, we're we're right here, yeah. And there's something about that uh, holographic communication of these technologies. And we talk about specific placements, and we'll talk about that tonight. And which particular technologies offer what wavelength to what tissue and uh but the reality is <clears throat> you put them anywhere close to your body and every part of your body is competent in the way that that technology is suggesting it should be and so it's exciting to me to have to put people back into a place where they're mentally clear and mentally competent and you know that's sadly unf uh we're, we're we've all seen a slippage uh of maybe ourselves, maybe people we know. Um, these have been tough years. And we're going to, I love communities like this where we can gather and we can brainstorm and we're and we're in this as a collective. My, my favorite phrase is humanity as organism thrives, where we're connected, we're well. And uh, then we can stretch. You know, there's not a, not a person on the planet who doesn't want to be better. Um, yep. Some will lie to you and say, I'm as, I'm okay, I'm, I'm as good, but inside they, they want to be better, yeah? And so these technologies give us that competence that we had when we were 20 years old, put our stem cells back into a place where we have that capacity. And then all of a sudden, all of the other endocrine system, the organ, the, all, of, all of the, our other biochemistry and metabolic systems can come back online. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I told you, yeah, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> it's true. So <laughs> now we're going to ask for some answers and some questions. And, you know, uh, here's one from Rowena in Winnipeg. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Which patches do you recommend for increasing bone density? And we oh. know that one, but go ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. So X39 is the star, star of the show of course, um, activates our stem cells uh, with a copper peptide called GHK copper. Mm -hmm. um, a year ago plus, uh, David came up with a brand new technology, which is a sister, uh, some call it the daughter uh, peptide called AHK copper peptide, which is upregulated by a brand new technology or newest technology called X49. Uh, those two together are fantastic for bone density. Um, and let me just say, since we mentioned toxins, I was, I had a fascinating conversation with somebody today who was making the distinction saying, we have language for bioaccumulation of toxins, heavy metals, et cetera. We don't have very much language in the functional literature uh, or dialogue about biodissipative, bio surrender. And that's a lot of what X49 does. We talk a lot about regenerative capacity with these technologies, but as much as we're rebuilding, it's also incredibly important for the body to release. We 
half a trillion yeah. cells per day, right? Mm -hmm. And also to release all of the accumulated toxins that we've we've all been bathing in for a while. So X49 is great for bone density. Um, I happen to be a fan of raw milk, if, uh, if I could toss that one in, but X49 helps assimilate a lot of the, um, the fat soluble uh, mm -hmm. vitamins, A, D, and uh, E, and K, and uh, all of our minerals that are uh, implicated in, in uh, creating bone. And the other thing that X49 does too is uh, create an endothelial competence, the lining of the blood vessels. And that's so important in handling uh, not just vascular tree flow and cardiovascular and, and blood flow and whatnot, but the target tissue of the bone. And remember the bone marrow is, is kind of the go-to bank and our, our target tissues get fed better that way as well. And that's all with 49. So that's a long answer, but it's a, it's a great, great, great product. Now we had a couple of testimonials has probably stirred up a couple of these questions that are related to the eyes. And maybe you could just talk briefly, uh, you know, about, you know, using the carnosine, why carnosine is, is, is a favorite, you know, one of our patch technologies for eye conditions. One of the reasons that, that endothelial di uh, dynamic uh, was is true is because of a peptide called alanine. Uh -huh. uh, and alanine is actually part of uh, the construction of carnosine. So mm -hmm. carnosine is a, right? Uh, for folks who don't uh, don't eat animals, for example, uh, a lot of a lot of our alanine in our diet comes from animal products. So if you don't eat meat or animal products, uh, it's a great idea to to get a beta alanine product. But but that's partly why is because there's there's microvasculature in the in the eye, of course, is so so um, tenuous. And and carnosine everywhere basically tells the body uh, poke 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 in the ribs. My dad used to call it poke in the ribs, <laughs> right? And where at, we think of it a lot as muscle, you know, back to this, back to the idea of stretch, but as, as goes the clarion call of the muscle fiber, so goes the rest of the microvasculature readiness to feed the tissue. And so, yeah, eyes, um, all, and that's true for all, all of our senses. So, you know, eyes are the ones that we tend to focus on most, pardon mm -hmm. the pun. Uh, because that's the one that's most uh, most impactful, but it's true for hearing and sense of smell and sense of taste mm -hmm. and respiratory. So, uh, so the, you know, I've heard so many stories of people putting the carnosine on eye patches, like Adele said, you know, compliments of American Airlines, but you can get any, any you know, uh, eye mask and I place them on the inside and somebody asked, it doesn't matter. It, the patches work both ways. There's no front and back. One right. side's sticky, one side's not. But, you know, it's light energy and it's emitting in both directions. So you can place them in there. And uh, so, because uh, I, I see that um, Carolyn was asking Dr. Tom that lost central vision in her right eye, which patches should she use? Uh, in addition to the carnosine, which is kind of the number one go-to, for eye health, do you have any other recommendations for eye health? And the question is, what patches should she not use? Should she use? Should she use, yeah. Um, yeah. In addition to carnosine, because carnosine is kind of the go-to for eye health. Uh, but you Energy know, Enhancer is a fantastic technology. It's a two-patch system, and it's our first technology. And... Uh, in addition to upregulating regulating the mitochondria, so your every cell in your body works better, um, it has the effect of creating, again, a really nice uh, integrity in the, in the blood vessels and the microcirculation. And you actually can put uh, a set of energy enhancer either at the temples, or if you don't like them uh, on your on your face, you could put them at the mastoid, uh, some somewhere close. Uh, we've developed a HAT protocol that incorporates energy enhancer and carnosine and glutathione. Um, mm -hmm. But that's that's a great one. Uh, but I would great? certainly go, I would certainly go X39 and 49 for sure. Uh, yeah. You can create a, a essentially a Faraday cage effect by creating a triangle or 
you know, a relationship with one of the two patch systems, either Ice Wave or Energy Enhancer, and an Eon patch or nice. a Carnosine. Nice. Pair. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, here's another question. Um, uh, the question, what patches might work best for shaking hands and the body, uh, beginning weakness in legs? Yeah, there's a lot of that these past couple of years, too. Um, energy enhancer, again, at the bottom of the feet is a, is a great one. Um, yeah. Right behind the ball of the foot, tan on left, white on right. Mm -hmm. uh, neuro issues are very often, you know, we point to Eon and we have a technology called Eon that is great for uh, frustration issues and mood issues and things like this. And uh, a lot of the decline in our memory and a lot of the other degeneration that we see uh, from those from those systems, we we talk a lot about this thing inside the skull. Well, that's all fine and good, but Eon is great for neuromuscular integrity everywhere in the body, and it's great for nerve integrity everywhere in the body. Uh, and then the the asterisk or the bonus opportunity there is, I you know I can't open my mouth and talk about these technologies for very long without talking about SP6. I love, love, love it. SP6, we talk a lot about uh, how it rescues people from craving, but the reason it does that is it puts the body in a ketogenic capacity and right. nervous system integrity is just like every other uh, organ system is uh, predicated on proper cholesterol mobilization. And once you've got your repair steroids headed in the right direction. And that's what SP6 does. Uh, we can't make medical claims that way, but it, we got hormone balance. We got, uh, mm -hmm. you name it, folks going through change of life issues, any any hormone issues that you have, any fertility issues that you have, et cetera, et cetera. SP6 is fantastic. You know, for some of our new people, I just want to give a point of reference. We've talked about a few different patches. Mm -hmm. Energy patches were the patches that started this company 20 years ago and were developed for the Navy SEALs. And, you know, back in, in 2000 and 2004, David launched LifeWave to bring it to the mass market, you know, to the general market. And then, you know, Eon evolved, you know, with the evolution of the company, Eon came about and it was the number one selling product. And it is still the number two selling product. It became number two when X39 came on and kind of dwarfed it. But X39 and Eon are two of the go-to products. You know, and then you could add Eon, you could add SP6. But, you know, for new people, sometimes they just want to say, well, we always recommend start with X39. But if you've got a certain situation, you may complement it with one of our other products like we're discussing here tonight. So, uh, so much to, to discuss, so many questions asked. So here's, uh, here's another question. Somebody says, uh, Doc wants to inject my lumbar spine with numbing agents three times over. Um, Wow, that sounds, uh, do I need to put an X39 on the specific spot where the injection would take place? Or can I simply um, palpitate and find a spot that needs the patch? Yeah, both. And it, you know, the great thing about these technologies is that it's experimental and it's, it's bio-individual. There's no right way to use them. Um, if, there, if the patch is in your pocket, it's a total body activation. It's anywhere within three inches. Um, <clears throat> if you have a tender point, it's it's really nice uh, for people to be able to have a, a momentary relief. And a, a lot of folks do find that, that uh, right at the point of soreness, that X39 can help immediately. You can also put X39, we call it stacking, right on the tan patch of the ice wave, which is our pain relief technology. Uh, and then use the clock method. So you find find that tender point, put an X39 and an, and an ice wave there, and then uh, hold the other white patch in several places for a couple of 15, 30 seconds. It, it works that quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. So uh, we've got time for maybe a couple of more questions. We're past the bottom of the hour. Try and keep these calls down around uh, 30 minutes. Here's a uh, lit... Uh, Lydia says, my mom has a friend whose son took a very nasty fall off a bicycle and hit his head. He's having some memory issues. 
told mm. by the doctors there's nothing more they can do for him. That's what doctors say. They did an MRI and everything seems to be okay. They've tried the performance pack, but didn't stick with it. Do you have any suggestions on patches? Um, not sure how old the lad is, but if it was a, she's referencing a son that fell off a bicycle, I imagine it's, you know, an adolescent or um, young teen. Yeah. Gregory, how much trouble do I get in if I uh, suggest that we put an Eon patch and an X39 on the doctor? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a shame, you know? I mean, one of the powerful things about these communities in, in our, our work is uh, it happens too much. I said it plenty of times in my career and, and uh, docs unfortunately have their hands tied, but that's the worst thing you can say to a patient. I know yeah. a patient. Um, we, we dig in, we find the situation obviously this is a trauma this is it's not a question of where this started from but um i just wanted to say as an aside part of what we you know part of the powerful uh elements of this community is that so many curious and committed people who will help folks ask the hard questions when did this start right because everybody's got a time of life when they were doing great when was the last time you felt great and then what happened and when did this start and let's you know let's figure this out together you know, um, I might like to boast about you a little bit, Dr. Tom, because you're, you know, you're especially was in neuroscience. Um, and, and I know Dr. Tom does phone consultations for a nominal fee. <laughs> so do you want to mention how people might be able to contact you, um, you know, if they wanted to, you know, uh, contract with you and get some professional advice uh, for, uh, you know, a nominal fee? Or you, I, I believe you're doing that like some of the other doctors, are you? Sure, I'm. I'm happy. I'll just. Uh, I think uh, I'll put my uh, signature block in the chat if that's okay. there. You go. Something you want. Because, you know, but for might... our little friend here, um, okay. yeah, he he deserves some relief. And okay. um, a lot of times when there's an active trauma, or and this is also true for somebody who's in big metabolic trouble, if they're on multiple medications or they're they've been struggling for a long, long, long time, X39 is a, a bit much. Right? X39 is a powerful technology. And as Gregory said, Eon, you know, is, it's, it's, it's not a question. It's not a, a mystery why Eon was our number one. It's, it's a beautiful security blanket. And I like to start folks with Eon. If mm -hmm. it looks like they're going to have a rocky road, mm -hmm. right? Um, and our little friend here, he does, he definitely deserves Eon mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of days. You can, you can play with the energy enhancer. It's not a, not a bad idea. Um, and you don't have to wear the, we talk about 12 hours on 12 hours off and the off component is very important, but we talk about that dynamic for all the technologies, uh, but you don't have to wear them for 12 hours. So you can, you can start small. I would start him with Eon, um, give him a couple of days just to feel nice and comfortable and calm. Uh, that settles the autonomic nervous system and that will prepare his body to uh, say yes gently and powerfully to the other technologies. So then you can try energy enhancer. If he handles energy enhancer nicely for a day or two, um, then I would try X39 for a couple hours, mm -hmm. see how he's doing. And then, then you play with it. Stay incredibly well hydrated. It's so important, um, especially with cerebral, the, the renal, uh, all of our organ functions are, are affected, but the renal compensates and the body actually wants to dump salt. So it's, it's very important to stay salty um, and that keep vascular tree volume high. One other thing about the end patch, clinically proven to be, uh, have significant anti-inflammatory qualities. And we know that inflammation is a driving force of most or all dis diseases. And, and so uh, all of the itises revolve around some type of inflammation, but we, again, we don't diagnose or treat diseases, but our product does help the body balance the inflammatory response. Amen. So um, let's see, uh, do you have time for one or two more? We're going a little long here, but. Sure thing. Uh, the HAT protocol has been recommended uh, several times. Uh, the HAT protocol is where you can have a ball cap with uh, left and right with energy patches, white on the right and in the front, tan on the left and in the back. 
And then some people are putting the Eon and the X39 atop. There's some variations of the HAT protocol. The HAT protocol was developed before we had X39. And, and so it's complemented, but that is also a possibility for anybody that has any type of neuro uh, circumstance situation going on. Yeah, great. And did you say SP6 may help with lowering cholesterol? That sounds like a medical claim, and I don't know if we can actually say that out loud, but uh, putting the oh. body in the place of healthy cholesterol, and that's another paradigm that's about to uh, break free with a falling dominoes wall here. Um, we got Shanghai a generation ago thinking that high cholesterol level was a problem. High cholesterol levels and is cholesterol mobilizing to the target tissue is the only way, is the way the body suggests repair. And it's also cholesterol is the, is the uh, foundational molecule from which all of our other repair steroids, all of our sex steroids and all of our stress steroids are built. So without cholesterol, if you turn uh, cholesterol off with a drug or with anything else, uh, you've pretty much told the body, okay, today is about as good as you're going to be. And right, the dangerous, dangerous medications. Um, I don't know how yeah. deeply to go into that, but but yes, the SB6 puts the body in a place where when you have stepped into a ketogenic diet, that means low, mm -hmm. low glycemic value, uh, you, you don't eat a bunch of sugar, you don't eat, but eat a bunch of carbs, you don't eat a bunch of fake foods uh, that interrupt uh, the, the normal flow of our macronutrients, and you put real good, nice, healthy fats in the body. And then you've, then you've got a body that knows how to mobilize its proteins, right? Uh, the short version of all of that, because I could talk about it for an hour, is eat happy things. It, yeah. And it's so, so, so important to spend your money on happy foods. It's, it's worth it to, to pay to eat organic. It's incredibly important. And I think we're going to look back on this generation, past 100 years, really, and know how lost we were. But yeah, working to uh, improve our diet and change our lifestyle uh, gets the body to a point in six months to a year where it can use fat as a fuel source. SB6 mm -hmm. does that in a minute. Again, doesn't mean you shouldn't make the changes. You still have to make the changes. Um, but SP6 puts that body in a ketogenic space. And that just means you're mobilizing your repair, sex steroids, and you're, use, you're using fat as a fuel source. And that's why cravings go away. And uh, then all the, re all the rest of the endocrine system in the body is balanced. Beautiful. Well, I think, you know, we've gone uh, 10 minutes past the bottom of the hour, and I think, you know, we could probably go on for another hour, but we can't. And so I want to thank you, Dr. Tom, for being uh, willing to share your expertise with people on the call and off the call. And thank everyone for jumping on and being here with us. And, you know, we have a very similar call every Monday morning. We have our Monday morning miracle call. And now we have our Tuesday night testimonial call. Uh, and so, you know, if you're new looking at LifeWay for the first time, get back with the person that invited you. Uh, they cared enough to share this wonderful technology with you. Uh, and, if, and if you've already begun with LifeWay, you know, stick with it. 30, 60, 90 days. Give your body a chance to really get into full alignment. And wonderful things continue to happen because the product, uh, the benefits are cumulative. So that being said, I think we're going to bring ourselves to a close here tonight. So thanks, everyone, for joining us. And I'm going to, if you'd like to unmute and say your farewells, that would be, we'd love to hear your voice. And uh, we'll talk to you on one of the upcoming calls. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat> Thank Good night, Greg. Thank, 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 Thank you. 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 Bye. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Keep on patching. So Keep on patching. Bye, Bye everyone. Thanks, Gregory. Thank Thanks, you, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Tom. Thank, Thank you. you. Much appreciated.